In the absence of tropical systems, September can be a tranquil weather month in Pennsylvania, as the past four weeks demonstrates. But October is always a strong contender for most laid-back weather month. At the same time, the slide toward winter is never more evident than in the month to come. For some places in the state, October is the driest month outside of winter. That's true, for example, in Waynesburg, in Shippensburg, where the October average is actually less than three inches. Also in Mercer, Indiana, State College in Reading, all averages averaging less than three and a quarter inches. In fact, the driest month on record at many places was in October. In Pittsburgh, it was in 1874. In State College and in Scranton, it was in 1963. In Erie, 1924, and in Philadelphia, two of those Octobers tied for driest month on record. That's true in Harrisburg as well. I should add that in Pittsburgh, the second, third, and fourth driest months on record were also Octobers. Part of the reason that October tends to be on the dry side is that the jet stream, and thus the primary storm track, is still to our north on average, while humid low-level air has usually retreated far to the south. Plus, tropical systems in October typically stay offshore or just skim the southeast. And finally, the average surface pressure pattern this month features high pressure over the Virginias, favorable for lots of sinking air and fair weather here. And these factors conspire to an almost total shutdown of thunderstorms in the state in October. For example, here's a 30-year compilation of lightning strikes in Allegheny County. Now, months are across the top. The time of day is in the vertical. There's a lot going on here. Just focus on the, focus on the reddish shading, which shows when lightning is most common. October 1st is indicated with the vertical black line. And notice the almost complete lack of shading to the right of that line. It's like the atmosphere has flicked the switch to off. Now here's the same, same diagram for Center County. Again, once you get into October to the right of the black line, hardly any lightning. And even in Southeast Pennsylvania, Bucks County, the same idea. Thunderstorms after October 1st are hard to come by. And with high pressure common in the east, you get lots of clear skies and light winds in October, and that helps make it one of the foggiest months. Plenty of time for surface air to cool and saturate after dark, as the nights are getting longer at a pretty good clip. The first of October features about 12 hours and 15 minutes of darkness, but by Halloween that increases to more than 13 hours and a half. So we'll lose about two and a half minutes of daylight per day during the month. And as a result, the drop in average temperature from the start to the end of the month rivals that of September and November. Here's average highs on October 1st, ranging from the low 60s to low 70s. And now here's those numbers on October 31st, low 50s to low 60s, a drop of 10 degrees everywhere. And of course, snow enters the picture in October when Erie's had as much as 14 inches and Pittsburgh as much as 8. In State College, the season's first flakes have fallen in October in 19 of the last 25 years, though in 14 of those years, it's only been a trace. Stay tuned. Our extended forecast is next.